Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Today, we're going to be taking a look at an upcoming UK base map from Peter716 for all platforms, Greenlands. This map is going through some final adjustments right now, and then it's going to be sent off for testing. It could be our first UK map on the Mod Hub. This video is an early preview and a mod showcase. That way, once the map is released, you can get right to work. You're going to know where everything is. If you like videos like this or you just want to see more FS22 content in general, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss daily farms and videos here on the channel. All that out of the way, let's check out Greenlands from Peter716. So let's start off with some features of the map. It's got 100 fields total, ranging in different sizes and shapes. There's also a village on the map on the bottom left-hand corner, and that is called Greenlands. That's why the map's called Greenlands. Also included on the map is a BGA plant, which you do own. You've got a grain mill, sawmill, storage yards with sheds, and a long river. You've also got several forestry areas, like a ton of them. You've even got a massive area at the bottom of the map where you can pretty much do anything you want with it and it's not that expensive either. The map's got contracts on every single field. You also have animal husbandry that's built in as placeables, but these can be sold along with the sheds at the main yard. Also, you can see there's a lot of gates and a lot of hedges, but don't worry, you can make all of these disappear very easily. The gates can be sold off as a whole by clicking on any of the gates, and the hedges as a whole can be sold by clicking on the red bollards opposite the main farmhouse. This cannot be redone once you've done it so heads up if you delete it once they're gone forever but i'm sure it'll help a lot of you guys out with that there's also a custom sleep trigger because down here on the main farm there are no sleep triggers but don't worry it's for a reason you can place down your old wherever you want there's a whole lot more to this but i think let's go ahead and start at the main farmhouse oh yeah there's four farms by the way so our first of four farms is going to be greenland farms it is going to be found smack dab right in the middle of the map this has got cows pigs sheep and chickens you also have grain storage three silage pits along with storage barns and here we are let's walk through so this is your main run into the farmhouse we do have some areas of land around the main farmhouse when you start and then we of course got the bga which is at the bottom right hand corner check this out man i love this of course you're not going to be able to use these massive massive machines on this map but it's a uk map you're not really supposed to be using huge massive machines also the fields are worker friendly however some of them aren't exactly squared off in the right direction so you will need to run a few runs around these areas before you get into it speaking of getting into it we're gonna into the main farm right now that's how long it takes to get in here of course you've got your farmhouse right here i'll show you the uh stuff here in just a second here's the red bollards that you're gonna need to delete i'll show you guys how to do that as well near the end of the video of course as always we've got your uh chickens around you've got cattle one thing he's in he's included the big big cattle area here so this is the one that feeds all of your animals so that's pretty cool of course, we have all of your storage sheds around through here. Um, we've got big silage pits and stuff like that. Very, very cool stuff through here. Some of it's custom. Some of it is base game stuff. Making our way through, of course, we have some more storage areas here. You guys are probably familiar with this shed right here. You can fit about, I think about nine tractors in here, six, something like that. You can fit a lot of tractors in there. You've got your grain storage there. And then we make our way around. It's a pretty big yard overall. Very, very big yard. Got lights very nice very very nice and then there's your third silage run of course got some piggies in there too yeah um the main farm area though it is pretty standard pretty normal very easy to get around it does look very good and i like it very very much so let's get ourselves a sleep trigger how's about that let's go through all you got to do is go in and go to farmhouses right here you can find sleep trigger the little z's and then from that boop just place it down. Now, wherever you place your uh, your bit down right there, the sleep trigger is going to be off to the left or the right, depending. It is not centered. However, where it is, is centered. So place it wherever you like to, and you're good to go. So that is your first farm, Greenland's farm. This is where you're going to start. Boom, right here. And that's where all of your fields are as well. Our next farm is Green Side Farm. This can be found at the bottom right hand corner of the map. And this is going to include cows and sheep. You've also got two silage pits here. Green Side Farm. 
I'm holding up. Wow, that's a lot of traffic I've been holding up. Sorry. <laughs> let's walk through. Let's check this out. So again, another really cool uh, driveway. I love things like this. It, you know, it gives it a little bit of pomp and circumstance almost leading up to it. You don't just boop right into it. So here's your farmhouse. Of course, you can place stuff down here if you want. The thing is, you're going to need to buy this farm. This is not owned by default. As a matter of fact, the only farm owned by default is your main farm. It is worth quite a bit, so you can sell that if you want to. But you're going to have to sell the placeables as well. So do keep all of that in mind. Of course, we've got our areas around here. Uh, nice uh, <laughs> kind of building your sheds wherever you can. Got to love that. And of course, we've got our animals through here as well. Cows and sheep. So we've got a nice cattle area. We've got a nice sheep area. Can't really ask for a whole lot more, huh? And then, of course, we do have two massive silage pits here as well. So you can get a really, really nice, huge silage harvest if you want to. As far as fields around here, we do have three of them included on the property. These are all going to be grass fields. Anything you see in like this brown color, this is actually grass because I have grass turned off because the whole map's just kind of... Well, it's Greenlands, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> At least shows you how everything is. But there you go. Not a whole lot to it, but it is very, very nice. No door around there. I thought maybe there would be. That is Greenside Farm. Our third farm brings us to Roadside Farm. This is at the top left-hand corner of the map. And this is going to have pigs and grain storage. If you buy it, it's going to have two different fields coming with it. 15, 16, and they are grass fields. There you go roadside farm let's hop the fence and let's come in here and check it out so we've got a fuel tank around here we do have a house on this property as well so you can place your sleep trigger in front of that if you own the land we've got some storage areas we do have another shed over here as well however not to get side because we don't own this farm not yet at least you can if you want to we've got a nice silo through there if you want it and then of course we have our large pig enclosure where you've got everything Looking good, and around it, we've got, well, more grass fields. So you can uh, plow these up or, you know, cultivate them up, direct drill over top of them, use the grass as a uh, cover crop, and good to go there. Otherwise, pretty small farm, but hey, if you're looking for pigs and only pigs, this might be the farm for you. We've got one more area that you can use as your actual farm. Let's say you don't care about a bunch of sheds, you don't care about a bunch of animals, and you're not looking for anything in particular. Well, Woodview Farm might be what you're looking for. This one's kind of neat because it's split up into two areas. Now, we do have an NPC car over here, so, uh, you know, just be aware of that. We do have a nice little shed right there. I don't know if we can open this or not. Nope, cannot be open, so uh, just for decoration. But we do have a little bit of a shed right there. This is at the top right-hand corner of the map, by the way, so it's not too far off. And it is located on the main uh, main road, which, by the way, you can buy the road. Yeah, there must be all the cars that I stood in front of. Woodview Farm. So this is the actual farm area of it. You got Woodview House and Woodview Farm. You can buy these individually. Kind of nice. I do like that. Again, a nice little pop and circumstance walking through here. Uh, we do have another house on this property as well. Maybe you can use one, do some role play. Hey, however you like to. We do have another NPC car over here as well. One thing to keep in mind. And then we have some pretty decent sheds. So this is going to be plenty of room for combine harvester, maybe some mowers, a couple tractors, and all your equipment. And it's located right off of a couple fields as well, which is very, very nice. And these are pretty big fields compared. I mean, take a look at the map. This might be one of the largest, if not the largest field on the map. It's located near the smallest farm. So how's about that? What do you think about that? That's pretty cool. Uh, so we've got some grain fields around here. Do whatever you want to. You can also plant grass in them if you wish. But we do have direct access to grass fields as well, which are purchased with the property. And that's the four farms. Again, right smack dab in the middle, Greenlands Farm. The bottom right-hand corner right here, we've got Greenside Farm. At the top left-hand corner, you have Roadside, and then the top right, we have Wood View. But those are not the only areas of interest on the map. We've also got Greenside BGA. This is going to be located on the bottom right-hand corner near your uh, cattle and sheep farm, and 
One cool thing, this is owned by default in New Farmer. That's really cool. It also is 268 grand, so you can sell it, make a little bit of that cash back if you don't plan on using the BGA. This is a pretty full function and massive BGA, especially for a grass field. You've got four large clamps. You do have a silo down here, which is nice to have. Uh, and you've got, of course, a BGA. Now, this is the smaller BGA. This is a 500, uh, was it 500 megawatt? Something like that. Let's click on it and find out. Yeah, 500 kilowatts. Sorry. Um, so there is that. Do keep that in mind. Oh, that's not a silo. That's BGA grain. That's a cell point. That's cool. That's my bad as well. Uh, full function BGA, though. It's just a little bit smaller than the ones you're used to on your big maps. Uh, and we also have a rock crusher here. This is neat because we own a uh, production by default. As a matter of fact, two productions by default. This is from uh, FLSD or FLSD94, and you could take 100 or 1,000 liters of rocks and turn that into 4,000 liters of lime, which is really, really cool to see. And of course, you've got your BGA stuff there as well. Nice area, and you own it. That's pretty cool. As we mentioned at the beginning of the video, logging is a big part of this map as well, not just grasslands. And one of the cool things is we've got a pretty big sawmill to go along with it. Over here, you can see you've got a place for your wood chips. You've got a place for dropping everything. You've got a place for your logs. This is a full full function. I'm loving it. It's down here on the bottom right hand corner as well. If you need it, you got your sawmill area and your wood chip area. And it's right around the corner from the BGA. Now I say, this because logging is massive you can see we have a pretty big area of logging right there we'll go take a look at it here in just a moment um, we've got a few little areas for trees around and then we have a massive area for trees down at the bottom but it's not a massive area for trees there's just kind of trees in the way let me show you what i mean let's let's go for a little ride here whoosh so this is the area that i'm talking about this is the logging area is big. It's also pretty uh, pretty straightforward as well. I mean, it definitely looks like somebody came through here at some point if you're looking for realism uh, and planted all these trees right into each other. So there's that. They are very, very, very in line, but that makes cutting them down pretty easy. And if we go down under the tree line, because this is an important part as well, you can tell that there's no little trees down here to get in your way. There's no bits, no pieces no issues you're not going to run into any problems the only thing you may run into is getting down here right by the water's edge but uh well then again that's always a problem when doing logging in real life anyway so it's pretty cool i like it i think it's done very well especially for beginners uh it's very well done i like it i like it a whole lot as far as the area down here at the bottom of the map look at this so there was a whole area if i remember correctly in farm sim 19 the version of this map by the way this is on 19. You can go download this and check it out if you want to. This version, I don't think had anything down here. However, at Farming Simulator 22, we've got a couple trees spread out here and there that you will need to uh, cut down. But you can buy every single area down here. And they're not that expensive. 184, 208, 183, 201, 383, and then 47 and 27 if you want to buy the last little bits. You could do that. You could do that. Imagine taking all this, cut these trees down uh, with you know, whatever you want to, and then make this one huge field. You're going to be just fine. Keep in mind, too, the size comparison as well. That's about a quarter of the map, maybe a little bit more. Huge, huge stuff going on right there. And one neat thing is, <laughs> what is this called? Greenland's Wild Space. Yeah, it's wild, baby. So you come in here, park your vehicles, whatever you need to in that shed. So you don't need to use another shed. Put your sleep trigger there as well. You can do that. And go for it. That's so cool. Yeah. Now, of course, we also have the town area as well. You're going to find a lot of cell points and a lot of things like that through here. Of course, we have our uh, agriculture engineer store. We'll take a look at that first. We also have supermarket and fast food restaurant. We've got fuel. We also have a grain mill there as well. So you do have productions built into the map. Very cool. Uh, you've got your animal auction area. You've got a place for doing milk, water uh, buy point. You've got a bell area. That's cool. You got another area just for doing wool. 
And there's quite a bit down here. Uh, this is kind of where all of the main stuff is. So this is going to be your main store area right here. It is a little ways away from stuff, but from the main farm, it's not too bad because this is your main drive into the farm. And here's the store. So it's not that far. Also, I will say one of my favorite things about the base game maps, the store's not far away from uh, everything. Then you've got some areas through here, like you have a town center. We can do a little overview fly right here. I do love that. Ooh, little, little spiky, little spiky. That's all right. I'm running 4K max settings out here. It's a little hot. Uh, but you've got places around that make it feel like it's alive. Make it feel like it's real, baby. It's looking good to me. I'm very happy with this. I'm extremely happy with this. Of course, you got your uh, grain mill right here as well. Greenland's grain mill. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And then we've got some uh, you know, little areas back here and behind. We do have a silage clan back here as well. Where are we? So this is almost like a little area where you've got some stuff. So if you buy Field 69, nice. You've got this little area right here. You do have a silage clan back here. And then two little sheds. Okay. I see you, Peter. I see you. <laughs> so maybe if you're trying to do some survival or something like that, maybe that's your first area that you buy. And then, of course, you've got your massive animal area down here as well. This reminds me of different places around quite a few of the UK maps that we played on in Farming Simulator 17 and 19. And it's just really cool to see this map back again because I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed Greenlands and Farm Sim. 19. So now that we've kind of done our map tour and we've showed you guys everything around, one thing I do want to show you is the vehicles that we're going to be getting in new farmer mode. We don't have anything in leased, but we do have a lot that is owned. I mean, look at all this. We got a lot of stuff. In small tractors, you'll be getting the Finn Favorite 515 and we get the Massey Ferguson 3909. Love that tractor. In medium tractors, we have the Landini 7230 Robo 6 and the John Deere 7810, one of my favorite starting tractors in the game. The Combine Harvester is going to be the John Deere T560. Love that. Cars, yep, you get the old pickup. Nothing wrong with that. Trailers, we do get the Kloss trailer. Not going to have any trouble with that, especially with the Landini. Nice or, uh, green header on there as well. We have a rock picker, so you don't have to go and buy these anymore. That's nice to see. As far as plows, we get a pretty big one. We get the exact map from Cavernaland. Um, not too bad. 220 horsepower is required, so you're going to be using that Landini for that as well. Uh, we do have a disc harrow. I see this. Uh, four meters as well, so we get the larger one of those. Fertilizer spreader. You get your Amazon. Good to have there. As far as manure spreaders, we get the Bree Re. Yes, you got a manure spreader base game. You've also got a slurry tank as well. The Supersys. 800. Very cool. Mowers front and back from the K brand. The GMD. Uh, I'm not going to read them. You guys can look at them right there. You've even got a tatter. How about that? The big one too. This is a nice, nice 8.7 meters. Windrow. Of course, you got the Smaz Windrow in there. Forge Wagon. Yeah, you got it. You, are you tired of this yet? You've even got a round baler. There's so much equipment. There's so much equipment. You've got everything that you need. You got your front loaders, front loader tools, header trailers, and of course you got weights everything you need you got everything you need and then some all right so now let's uh let's have a little bit of fun let's go through and let's delete demolish the red bollard so you can see do you want to sell all hedges on the map for 50 bucks oh we get 50 dollars back that's nice so you can't click on the hedges, so don't try and go clicking on the hedges. It has to be these red bollards right in front of the main house. Now you can click on either one. Let's hit yes. Okay. And they are gone. They are absolutely gone. But we still have all of the, uh, the, uh, the what do you call these? The fence, fence post things? Yep. Gates. Yeah, the gates. All the gates around. But... Everything else is completely gone. Uh, let's come through here. So all we have to do is click on one of these gates. So we'll just click on this one right here. Do you want to sell all the gates on the map for 12 grand? Absolutely, I do. So there you go. You get $12,000. And now the entire map is opened. The whole thing's open. No hedges. No fences. Nothing. The dinosaurs roam free. <laughs> I'm messing with you. But yeah, that's cool. 
So if you don't want the hedges, well, simply do this. Now you can plow all your fields together and make one massive Greenlands grass field. I want to take this opportunity to thank Peter716 for sending this map over to show you guys because without him, this video would not have been possible. Make sure you check him out. I'm going to leave some links in the description for his Facebook and his YouTube channel. As always, make sure you tell him DJ sent ya. And that is going to be it for today's video. First look and the map tour of Greenlands from Peter716. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. If you do, subscribe so that you don't miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. That being said, I hope you guys have a great, awesome, wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you later. Peace.